I, th I think Australia is very fortunate to have First Nation performing arts, First Nation films, First Nation visual art. The biggest commodity out of Australia in sense of creativity about the identity of the country is First Nations culture. Stephen Page, Artistic Director of Bangarra Dance Theatre. I'm a Mananjali New Knuckle man from Queensland. Bris Brisbane's where I grew up. My father is um, part of the Yugambi Nation and my mother's a saltwater woman from New Knuckle country. We've always been surrounded by stories. There was always music, you know, popular culture music. My mother was into musicals and so there was always that versus the sort of um, going on country and hearing stories. So I suppose I've always had a bit of a foot in each world really. We had the opportunity to represent this country overseas. That seed of performing internationally, taking our stories, caretaking our stories and taking it overseas has been a huge part of our programming for, for most of the last of the 28 years. Southeast Asia was quite a strong relationship for us. Our traditional base uh, connections and families were the Yung Yungal people of Northeast Arnhem Land. So a lot of the, the families there, Marika, Yunapingu, um, Manyayans, they had a close relationship with Bangara because uh, I suppose they entrusted us as a contemporary clan to, to carry their stories around nationally. So when we heard stories about the Yungal people and stories from thousands of years ago, mythological stories, and then also stories before first contact. And that before first contact, Indonesia was such a strong um, trade between Northeast Arnhem Land and, and Indonesia. So I had to go back to Indonesia and almost reflect some of those stories from the past. Um, and out of that, we end up performing outside in an in a, in a outdoor performance, laid a tarket floor down. Uh, we shared workshops that week, and then we were able to show them a celebration of traditional and contemporary dance. But in Europe, people go into, into creative caves and watch storytelling and watch performances. So when we were there, we were playing 1,500 seat, 2,000 seat venues, um, theatres. And, and, the, and they were sold out. And, and what was interesting, audiences demographically, you know, there'd be like a five-year-old to an 80-year-old person that would be waiting backstage. And I think it's the first time the dancers felt like rock stars. And that's why our relationship with the Australian government is it's a serious commitment. It's about a 40,000 year commitment.